published 11:54 Eastern Standard Time, the 26th of December the 2017, updated 14:51 Eastern Standard Time, the 26th of December 2017. If this transpires to be the occasion when Watford's season finally got going again, then let it be credited to the nimble old man in the goal rather than the heralded young manager in their technical area. This comeback, and with it a first win in seven games, owed far less to Marco Silva's master plan than it did to Jurello Gomez and a body that shouldn't be capable of such reflexes at 36. It was about his wonderful save at 0-0. In the first half, when he tipped over a header from Shinji Okazaki, and two more acts of flight in defense of a 2-1 lead, when he kept out Wes Morgan and Leonardo Ajoa in the space of two frantic minutes. Stunning saves. Riyad Mahrez watches on as his header flies over Watford goalkeeper Hurello Gomez to give Leicester the lead. Mahrez punches the air with delight at Vicarage Road as Leicester fans, many wearing festive hats, celebrate their opener. The away side were not leading for long as former Leicester Loney Moller Wade knocked the ball in at the back post. Wade, starting his first game for the Hornets on loan from Udinese, was delighted to net his first goal in English football. Casper Schmeichel endured a moment to forget in the second half when when he helped Abdullah Dussora's shot over the line Du Kerr, who was returning from suspension for Watford, screams with delight after completing the home side's comeback and vitally important, too. Watford had taken only one point in their previous six games, and for all the world that appeared certain to get worse in the opening 40 minutes here when they were utterly awful. Indeed, when Leicester went ahead through Riyad Mahrez, the only question was how many would follow. But just like that, Leicester crumbled, undone by their complacency and a chronic inability to defend free kicks and corners, with both Moller Wag's 45th minute equaliser and Kasper Schmeichel's own goal originating from set pieces. It is damning that of the 30 goals Leicester have conceded this season, 13 have come that way, the worst record in the division. Claude Puel is unhappy about that fact, but he also acknowledged that this result came down to fantastic saves from Gomez, who just three days earlier was blamed by some for the loss at Brighton. Mares gets his head to mark all Brighton's cross ten minutes before half-time to give Leicester the lead on Boxing Day. The Algerian striker held a finger up as he wheeled away in celebration after putting his side 1-0 up in Hertfordshire midfielder All Brighton, the provider of Leicester's opening goal, celebrated with Mares, the man who scored it. Leicester fans were feeling festive in the crowd as they wore blue and white hats for their trip to Vicarage Road on Boxing Day. It was a fine redemption for the Brazilian and one that also saves face for Silva, because it had become an inconvenient truth that Watford's form collapsed soon after the 40-year-old had his head turned by Everton. The form was not the best but the way we reacted showed personality, Silva said. When we started well this season, everyone was talking about Europa League qualification. But I always said I knew the reality of the club, on Gomez, Silva added, he is important. Some put fault on him at Brighton. But when we win and lose we win and lose together, and yet for a large chunk of this match, the remainder of the Watford side, excluding Andre Carrillo, did not pull their weight. True, they had seven players out injured and Troidini suspended, but they were cut apart at will by Leicester early on. Jamie Vardy picked up a hat thrown from a supporter as he joined his teammates to celebrate the away side's opening goal. Leicester did not lead for long at Vicarage Road as Wake poked home at the back post after a Tom Cleverley. Corner Brazilian striker Rich Lisson jumps on the back of the goal scorer as the Vicarage Road crowd go wild in the stands. Duku looks to the skies after leveling things up for the home side, who would go on to score a second after the break. Okazaki had an excellent chance saved by Gomez and shortly after Jamie Vardy made a hash of a one-on-one. -on -one. The breakthrough came after 37 minutes when Mark Albrighton crossed for Mares, who had run untracked to the far post. A good header for the goal, yes, but it didn't need to be much more because of the marking. Leicester looked set to counter clear at that point having gone unbeaten in the previous seven away games. Instead, they imploded. A Tom Cleverley corner made the leveller, with former Leicester Loney Wade launching a shot over the line at the back post on his first start for Watford. 
Seconds later, Richarlison had a shot blocked by Schmeichel. Ducour stops the ball going out of play and fires it back into the center of the Leicester City box as the keeper watches on the ball hit Fox's goalkeeper Schmeichel and deflected over the goal line before he could do anything about it. Ducour looks delighted as he screams in celebration and sprints towards the Watford bench after turning the game around it. What a topsy-turvy boxing day for the travelling Leicester fans, who saw their side go ahead before squandering it to lose if that save showcased the good in Schmeichel, the one he conceded in the 65th minute showed the bad, with the keeper nudging in a shot from the tightest of angles by Abdullah Dukur after his defence made a mess of Cleverley's free kick. We need to correct things on set pieces, Puel said. True, but even with those deficiencies, Leicester had chances to draw or win this game. Thankfully for Silva, Watford had Gomez. Wilfred Ndidi, right, worked hard for Leicester but could not help his side to anything but a slender Premier League defeat. Richarlison almost put Watford ahead early on in the match but he was denied by the outstretched hand of Schmeichel. Andre Carrillo holds onto the back of the net after seeing an effort just miss the goal in the first half in Vicarage Road. Claude Puel has impressed since arriving at Leicester but his side have now failed to win in the last four matches.